and welcome back to Angie's Pantry. Today I'm going to do a review on Marie Callender's um, Homestyle Stroganoff. I got it at the store for a buck ninety nine, so I think I'm going to try it. And it says you can use um, ground beef or steak in it. So I'm going to use beef tips because I'm going to cheat. <laughs> so let's get you close in so you can see how I'm doing this. Got my pan heating up and that's getting nice and hot. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to that pan because I am going to add a little extra to this. And then I've got some butter here I'm just going to throw in. Now here I've got beef tips that you get. It's already ready in the gravy, the Hormel. I'm going to stick that in the microwave for three minutes. I poke the hole in the top because that's going to be my beef. I just want it loose enough. Okay. I'm using my um, Tupperware Pro Chef because I want to cut this onion up fast. That in there. You don't have to do all that, but I am. And I got two little stalks of celery and three pieces of garlic. Turn it, click it. Let me move that for a minute, because on the bottom there's a little rubber piece that holds it to the right to the counter. There. And voila, it's done. Perfectly sliced. Okay. Add that in the pan. I'm going to use my skinny spatula, Tupperware spatula. Wipe this out really good. Now with this, our Tupperware spatulas, you can use it in your pan. Okay, I'm going to add the mushrooms. So I'm going to put my chopper back in here. Throw the mushrooms in there. Ten nice pulls, and there that is perfectly chopped. I'm gonna let this cook down for a minute, and then I'll bring it in a little closer so you can see how it's going. That chopper just kicked butt on that, didn't it? One of my favorite uh, little gadgets to use in my kitchen. I think everybody should have fun gadgets, don't you? If you're interested in any Tupperware, make sure to check my link below. I've got until August 31st to get $500 in sales. So anything you want to buy, go go shopping and you don't have to buy anything but it's nice to nice to help a sister out okay I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so we can see what we're doing um, according to this recipe it says stir in your milk water seasoning and pasta bring to a boil simmer cover for 12 minutes until pasta tastes tender and add sour cream. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna opt out of the sour cream because I'm gonna add a little bit of this Thrive Rich chicken gravy just to thicken it up a little because I don't have sour cream. Okay, but now you're in closer to the pan. Oh, it smells wonderful. I love these little spatulas. They're heat resistant. So you can stir in your pan all day long. Just don't let it sit there, just saying. Common sense on that one, guys. <laughs> so let's add some pepper. Now I'm not gonna add salt because I don't know how salty their mix is. We'll add salt towards the end. Okay, it's time to add the beef. 
I don't know if you've ever used these. I'm telling you, I went to go buy a roast because I was going to make this up with a roast. Three minutes in the microwave and look how nice that is. That's going in the pan. And it was only, it was five dollars and some odd cents. Huge difference. And I ain't got to cut out the fat or nothing in it. It's automatically done for me. Smells wonderful. Okay, I'm going to add two and a half cups of milk. Seasoning pack. The noodle. One cup of water. And that's it. Stir it up really good. And then I'm going to put the lid on it. And I'm going to come in and stir it every now and then. And in about 13 minutes, our pasta should be done. Once it comes back up to a boil. And then we'll be test taste testing. But I'll let you see how it is when it's ready. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so now it's been probably about another, I'd say 15 more minutes because the noodles, some of them were uh, not cooking and some were. So now they're at least tender enough to where you can eat it. Um, I had my husband try it. I ended up adding about three tablespoons of that beef bouillon to this just to get that flavor. But I'll do a taste test for you and we'll see how Let's what do I the taste test, test on this. The noodles finally soft enough to where I can eat it because before it was so hard it was like crunch, crunch, crunch. Adding the beef bouillon to it really help the flavor but it's got a weird coffee taste to it don't ask me why it tastes like coffee my husband said the same thing would I buy this product again no sorry big thumbs down uh, I'm gonna try to save it I'm boiling my pot for I'm gonna make some egg noodles and pour it over the top of it guess that's what we're gonna have to do all right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this review, even though it was a bad review. Sorry. I want to thank you for stopping by and wish you guys all a great day. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye.